Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today, we are going to learn how to add and subtract on a number line. This looks an awful lot like another lesson where we're going to be practicing adding numbers on a number line. First off, we are going to subtract on a number line, which is different from what we've done before. We are going to add on a number line, which is the same as what we've done before. Now, let's get into it. First off, let's start with an example that should be pretty familiar, one plus two. The way that we would show this on a number line is that we would start at the number one, and then we would move two spaces to the right. When we are increasing or adding a positive number, we move to the right. So we would have one plus two, which gives us three. That's how it goes. When you're adding negatives, it works exactly the same way. Adding is joining them together. It is not always making things bigger. So here's what adding negative one plus negative two would look like. We start at negative one, then we add negative two, which means moving two places to the left or decreasing the value by two. That brings us to negative three. And that's it. That's what happens when we are adding positives or adding negatives. Two positives added together will give you an even larger positive and two negatives added together will give you um, a lesser value but a bigger number that is also negative. Now we come to this where we're adding a negative and a positive and that's sometimes confusing. So let's take this pretty slow but we're going to follow exactly the same steps as we did in the previous example. We're going to start at the space of negative 40 and then we're going to add positive 10. If we're adding positive 10, it means we're moving 10 spaces to the right or we're increasing by 10, which would bring us to negative 30. When you add a positive number, it increases. Now, in this case, I'm taking positive 30 because that's 30 plus negative 35. 30 plus negative 35. The way that would look is we would start at 30 and then we would decrease by 35 or move 35 spaces to the left, bringing us here to negative 5. Remember, adding is joining together those two numbers, so we joined together 30 and negative 35 and we ended up with negative 5. Now let's talk about subtracting. Subtracting is the opposite of adding. In other words, if I have 1 minus 2, that means I'm starting at 1 and I am moving to the left two spaces, which would bring us to negative 1. So I am subtracting a positive 2 or taking away a positive means that I am decreasing the value. So it goes from 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. There you go. Subtracting a positive, the number decreases. Now, if I have negative 2 and I subtract 2, that rule still applies. Where I'm starting on the number line doesn't matter. But what happens is I am subtracting positive 2, which means I'm decreasing again. So negative two minus two more gives me negative four. Subtracting is taking away. And one way of thinking about it is you take away a positive, that means it's decreasing or getting less. All right, now we're going to do a positive minus a positive, but we're going to start with 20 and we're going to subtract 35. So I start with a positive number and I decrease it by more than that amount. I'm subtracting more than 20, so I'm going to end up with a negative number. But how far negative? In this case, negative 15. Notice I took 20, I took away 35, and that brought me down to negative 15. It's the same rule as before, subtracting a positive number, it decreases. It's just that in this case, we start with a positive and end with a negative. The amount that it decreases depends on that second number and whether it ends up being positive or negative just basically is 
Which is more? Is it more negatives or more positives? In this case, we had 35 negatives and only 20 positives. So we ended up with a negative answer. All right, let's take a look. We are going to do this question. This type of question has the most number of negatives inside of a subtraction question. It has negative four minus negative three. That's an awful lot of negatives. When you get a question like this, it's quite confusing to draw on a number line. Remember, if we are subtracting and that is taking away, think about this as taking away a negative. So if I took away negative 50 degrees, wow, that means now it's not negative 50 degrees, it's warmer, right? If I took away negative money, like if you had debt and I took away that debt, that's an increase, right? Because now instead of having debt, you've got money. Debt is money that you might owe someone. I'm realizing that this is a sixth grade or seventh grade math class and um, I'm talking about debt and you probably don't have debt. But maybe if your parents are watching, they'll get this. But negative temperatures, you, if you take away a negative temperature, then now it's positive. That makes it warmer. So taking away a negative makes the number increase. So I'm going to take this and instead of writing negative four minus negative three, I'm going to say negative four plus three. Remember, taking away a negative makes the number actually increase. So it increases by four and we get negative one. You could actually rewrite this anytime you see minus negative to being written as plus. So we could have written this as negative four plus three is equal to negative one. Let's practice another one like that. Negative 45 minus negative 20 or negative 45 take away negative 20. I had negative 45. I'm taking away negative 20 of that. This is what it would look like on the number line. I start at negative 45. I take away 20 of those negatives. And that brings me to only being negative 25 now. So the number actually increased or moved to the right on the number line. All right. Again, it's the opposite of adding. I want you to try this one out. Pause the recording and try this one out. Starting at 10, and I'm going to take away negative 15. It's exactly what we've been doing before. The same as the last two questions. Try it out, go for it. Three, two, one. Hi, welcome back. We started at 10, we took away a negative, which means we were increasing the value. So instead of going 10 minus negative 15, we would say 10 plus 15, which brings us up to 25. Remember, taking away a negative is increasing. There we go. Here's one more, negative 20 minus 55. Lots of practice today. Try that one out. Starting at negative 20, taking away negative 55 or adding 55 will bring us all the way up to positive 35. Look at all those negatives in the question to end up with a positive answer might seem strange, but that's what we did. We started at negative 20, we took away negative 55, or in other words, we added 55. We increased by 55. Subtracting a never num negative increases the number. A couple things to remember, adding is joining numbers together. Subtracting is taking away. Adding a positive will increase, adding a negative will decrease. Subtracting is the opposite. So subtracting a positive will decrease and subtracting a negative will increase, right? Subtracting is the opposite of adding. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.